This is a Gates BC1F serial number 2638 1000 watt AM transmitter. It hasn't lived uh, for quite some time. We've totally rewired it, changed it for amateur radio. This rig was built about when I was in 1952 and has now mm, a lot of modern uh, stuff in it, including Teflon wire. This here is the audio section. There's the audio amplifier, which feeds an interstage transformer. And then over here are two 833s tubes, which drive the audio. The next bay here is the RF section. Danger warning, Will Robinson. And that is it clicking on. And we're on the air now, you can hear the monitor. Take you on the front. We've shut the blower off so you can actually hear. It's the front of the 1F. This is a really a fairly a foreign territory for me. Um, as of, um, you know, say a year ago, um, very nearly, or well, a year ago, I adored a rock on this stuff. I, uh, one of the guys helped me along. Speaking is uh, Grant, the before BVT. Part of the team here. Yeah, that's the RF tubes. Pretty glow. 833s. The oscillator was originally this single frequency oscillator. We replaced it with an exciter, an ICOM 718. And it's only putting out around 11 watts to excite the radio. This is the control section with relays. And in this box here are overload relays, which are very bizarre. And here's the audio section. This is our good luck, uh, Chinese good luck weapon. And you can see the meters reflect Grant's audio. And a watt meter at the end. And, uh, who knows where, where things eventually lead you. That's where we're listening on. Uh, that's, um, that's, uh, that I'm, I'm very monitor sure receiver. Of. <laughs> very sure of. <laughs> uh, who would have thought a, um, a poor old dude like me would get a chance that I like this? Anyway. We're currently hanging the doors. They're heavy. Well. And this. I guess I, I a transformer the stabilized ladder. Well, here are some of the other transmitters in our collection. RCA, Collins 20B2, Collins 20B3, and a Continental 314. But wait, wait, there's more. Here's our parts. Continental, uh, uh, parts 20V2. And this is the Western Electric 451A. It's going to take a while. Thank you. I'm Jerry Morrisdorf, KCHZUL. The audience. Well, hello, audience. How are you doing? This is W4BVT, Columbus, Ohio, on the BC1F broadcast transmitter, rebuilt 2008. Spent all summer on this dang thing. Tell them what we're using to receive on there, we're Billy using Bob. The ICOM. The ICOM. He's a wonderful model. I see 9500 receiver. Uh, wonderful receiver. All computer controlled stuff. What's that weird thing on top? I think that's one of those silly scopes. Hey, your voice seems to be reflected, and so does mine. Back up! See? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, what are we doing over there? It's, uh, what, what, what? Boy, it is getting late, isn't it? Yes, it's getting late. Oh, it's okay, though, because we're just getting started. Well, look. That's a 230. Frank will be in for it. Oh, should I plug this in? Mm. Uh, what's that? That's the on-the-air light. Oh, yeah. We yeah. on-the-air light over here, too. There you go. Oh, yeah. So nice blue blue. Oh, my God. Super bright. <laughs> Back here with you, Dave. W4BVT. And, by the way, I, I've been kind of tweaking things around in the audio just a little bit as, as, as we talk and uh, trying to get some, um, trying to get, uh, you know, just, just moving things around. I, I still can hear where I'm, I'm maybe a little off, but I, I'm wondering if you, you can tell I've been moving things around. W4BVT. Yeah. We've turned the uh, blowers uh, back on. This gives you an idea of the noise he makes. Uh. 
That fan's uh, moving about 600 CFM of air. So again, you can see uh, this is what we call the iron the transformers involved. There's the exciter, the back of the exciter. And there's the solid state uh, rectifiers replacing the mercury vapor. This is the uh, A13 driver stage. This is our modified PI network that tunes to amateur radio frequencies. Big cap in the center there, uh, C32, is your neutralization uh, cap. And uh, be proud, A33 is blowing. And over here again, the next bay, the audio section, uh, top to bottom, the twin A33s, audio transformers, installment transformers left and right. That's the audio jack there. Modification for pad. These are uh, the power supplies. Uh, it's a 300 volt power supply and a 150 volt bias supply. And this has got some of the biggest iron in the world. And uh, this central terminal strip here is where we had the most trouble. Everything connects to this terminal strip. And uh, they actually vaporized one of the, uh, the leads, one of the positions. Now remember. Thank you for your attention. Uh, Regards from uh, Jerry Morsdorf and Grant, uh, KCHZUL uh, from beautiful Columbus, Ohio. See you by. Remember, never operate any transmitter that's not heavy enough to kill you if it falls over. Bye bye.